Hi, Mr. Ungard here, and in this video, we're going to look at text decoration. In the previous video, we looked a bit more at font weight, and we started to look at font style, and we also looked at text transform. Before that, we inserted some Google fonts into our website. But with text decoration, we can do even a few more things. Up in my style, between my style tags, I'm going to create a class called underline. And I'm going to give it the text decoration of underline. Okay. I'm going to hit Control S to save. And I mentioned in the previous videos I'm using Emmet. Emmet is a plugin that's available for Atom brackets. I believe a 32-bit bit version of Notepad++, and it comes with Visual Studio Code. So what I can do is I can type P, uh, a period, and then underline, spell it right, then tab, and I've got a paragraph with a class of underline, which I did in this one before. Let me, let me delete that one out. Okay. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is type lorem, and let's say I want 56, uh, just dummy text. 56 words of dummy text. I can type lorem56, hit tab, and I've got 56 words. Okay, I hit control S to save it. Go over here and refresh. And we'll see that I've got this paragraph that is now underlined. Okay, I can also create a class called overline. And in this class, I'm going to give this a text decoration of overline. Okay. Down below my heading, I'm going to type P period overline, hit tab. And then let's say we have 20 words in this paragraph. paragraph. I'm going to hit tab. It's going to give me a short paragraph there with 20 words. Go back to here. And you'll see that these couple sentences are overlined. Okay. All right. Uh, one more class I'm going to create, I'm going to call it strike through because that helps. It doesn't, it, the name of the class is what helps you remember um, what that class does. And I'm going to find the text decoration as line through. I remember strike through as line through. You could create a class called line through if you really wanted to. Okay, so I'm going to hit p dot strike through. Oops, let me spell it correctly. Hit tab, and then let's do lorem thirty. Hit tab. Hit Control S to save. Go back here, and I've got a line through all these words in that paragraph. Okay, so these are three things I can do with my text decoration to make it a little bit different make my website look a little bit different. So let's create a new paragraph here. Okay. Within that paragraph, I'm also going to do something called a span and I'm going to do span dot overline. I'm going to hit tab and write two. Okay. In front of this, I'm going to do, I think this is the ampersand and then radic and then semicolon. I'm going to show you what this looks like. I'm going to hit Control S and then refresh. And I've got the square root of two showing up here. Let's make my font size a little bit bigger. Uh, let's define a font size class of large font. Just large font. And we'll do font size 40 pixels. Get this a class of large font. So you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to hit Control S to save. And you'll see it gets to be a bit larger. Now, I've seen a lot of websites where they do something. I'm going to do a line break here. They do something like just this radic square root symbol and then two. Hit Control save. And they get something like that. And that's how they show the square root. Now, that's not really technically a correct square root sign. It's a way you can show it in HTML, but I feel with this overline here, you can really make the square root sign look authentic. OK, 
Okay. Let's say you're a different type of teacher. Um, you're an English teacher. Okay. Let's say you have a paragraph and um, you're saying the, and then let's do span dot strike through, hit tab, the dog, and then you're going to do another maybe span and type cat went meow. Okay, I'm going to hit control S to save. And I'm going to look up here. And I typed something wrong. Spin class will strike through. Ah, I spelled strike through wrong. Okay, so let's fix that, save it. And now we see the dog is has the strike through on it. Let's make the font size a little bit larger. We'll use that class I defined of large font. I spell it correctly. Okay. And you'll see that the dog is crossed out. Like let's say you made an error. And a way you could highlight this, let's create a class up here in the colors of red. And we'll give it a color of red. And then in this span class of strike through, I'll add the class of red. Okay. And I'll fix that. Okay. And we say, well, we originally write, wrote the dog went meow, but we should have written the cat. And maybe we want to have a class of green for the correct word. So we're going to have a color of green here. Okay, and then in this other span, um, we could give this a class of green. Hit Control S. Okay, and now this this cat color is showing up as green. Okay, um, so that's that's one way you could do it. Maybe as an English teacher, you're writing something and you're correcting something, um, and you have that red strike through, and then the green um, showing you the correct uh, way to say something. And maybe, just maybe, in that span class of green, we also want to add the class of underlined. Okay, let me hit control S. And now we've got the cat underlined. Okay, so that's a way you can mess with your font with text decoration to create meaningful content if you are a math teacher, especially with this overline, using for square roots and, and, and stuff like that, cube roots. Um, and then also for you know any kind of text where you want to highlight an error and then highlight the correct word, you can use these um, these text decoration or the CSS text de text decoration to uh, highlight your text. Uh, I'd like you to play with this, um, play with it in your own text, uh, get used to using it um, within those classes, and. Uh, and then, um, you know, then you'll be ready to move to the next video where you can learn something else from CSS to highlight. So every video that you go through, you should be practicing this stuff, building your own website, using it in your own unique way. When I first learned how to do the overline uh, thing, I was looking for something to make the square root better, and I learned how to do it that way. Um, but you may have a totally different application for it. Oh, uh, anyways, well... Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments in the comments below. Also, if you're interested, please check out my new website, which is webdevinstruction.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And finally, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.